Welcome, this is Jay Nicholas for the Oregon Fly Fishing Blog. The purpose of this video is to show how it helps to lay out your materials before you tie a fly to improve your efficiency. So I'm going to tie a version of a flame boss. I have uh, six schlappen feathers laid out. I have my hooks, half a dozen hooks. I have my chenille, my tinsel, my flashaboo, my wing, and my tail materials. I've got my thread, my scissors, my hackle pliers, my cement, my waste bin. I've got everything ready to go. I, and part of this is having a sample fly that I can look at. So let's get started. So, a little dab of cement on that base. So I reach, I'm, I'm prepared. I've got my tail material right here. And I practiced on this other fly so I know about how much to pull off, to cut off. Now, and, and watch this, I'm, I'm bringing my thread up and it's still loose. It's between my thumb and forefinger and then I just pull straight down. So I reach, I got my pre-cut chenille. There we go. So this piece of tinsel is long enough, I'll use it on the next fly as well. So I'll drop it back on the table. Now, I've got one of these pre-prepared hackles. Also, part of the point of this, this video is not so much the fly itself. Part of the point of this video is having all my materials laid out. Here's a section of flash that is kind of slicked together. So there's my flash. Now here's my wing, which I was working on before. This, I think I like the looks of it. My thread goes up, no tension yet, down. Now I'm applying the tension. But for a fishing fly, we are good to go. And now I'm ready to tie my next fly. I'll do six flies just like this because I have all my materials laid out. And I'll take this one out of the vise and I'll put it right down next to the other one and they'll be so pretty and nice. So there you go. That's how to organize your bench for maximum efficiency as you're tying. Have fun, get out there.